Instagram is an online social networking platform for creating and sharing images and videos. The curating of our Instagram accounts can be as simple as what filter we use. And Instagram is supposed to represent the reality of our lives, but is it a reality? I'm gonna to talk to Natalie, a fellow media student, about how she curates her Instagram. I always wait till night posts. They actually have an app that you can use that um, shows you your feed before you post things and you can like set timers on when to post. Should I? So you can like fill up the squares and move things around to see what your feed will look like before you post things. I do that every time before I post an Instagram photo. What is the social psychology behind Instagram? Posting pictures on social media websites and where you get likes and so on, um, that can act as, an, as a reinforcer. In fact, it, what it does is uh, it can release dopamine in the brain, which is very kind of rewarding. So the more kind of pictures that you put up and uh, the more they're like, the more reinforcing that is. So it, it acts as a, uh, a boost to self-esteem. There are certain versions of ourselves that we want to present on Instagram, much like in real life. For me, I have one for social media and one for my art account. I had another Instagram account before my one now, and like I'd follow like celebrities like the Kardashians and stuff. But I think like when you look at that, it's just not real, and it affects you. Like even though I know it's not real, you you think like why don't I look like that? Like why don't I have this many followers? Why don't I get this many likes? People often have an ideal self, so they. Very few people would put up photos of themselves that portray them in a negative way or in their, or in, in their perception of not looking good. Yeah. So what then happens is that other people see that and you get this kind of norm developing where people uh, want to look good so they put their ideal kind of self on. And of course this isn't really a reflection of reality at all. Instagram doesn't just have to be about the self, it can also be about creating online communities. I feel like on Instagram there's subcultures, like you've got like the Instagram famous people or you know the arty people, the indie people and then the people I follow they're like, it's very minimalist. People seek out other people, so some of the positives of being in a group, whether it's in a real world group or an online or social media group is that we have a need to belong, yeah? So identify, we identify with other people that are similar to us and that boosts self-esteem. Instagram can create unrealistic expectations about one's self-identity and personal well-being, but it can also be an important place to develop groups and communities for self-expression.